Lawrence, how's it going? Thanks for joining us today. A few questions we have for you. Um, last time you were doing exams and we had to cancel the scheduled Q&A. How did that yeah, go yeah. for you? Yeah, they're, they're actually going all right. Um, funny if I said I was just finishing off an assignment there before I came on here. All right. Um, I'm actually finished finished college this year, so um, be nice to like take that off the off the books anyway. And, uh, and what yeah. was it? What is it you're studying? I'm doing a uh, commerce in uh, in UCD, so um, it's oh, handy, actually handy enough. So it worked pretty well. Just you know, because we're training UCD and things like that. So oh, cool. Yeah, so you can just go from. Um, from studying to training. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. One, 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 nice. one type of training to the other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and what about your um, injury? Do you have any update on that? Or? Yeah, so um, still, it's still uh, probably a, a month, two months maybe. I don't think I'll be, unfortunately, back for the end of the season, but that that's not... Um, right. Not not confirmed yet. Um, it is really good, and, but there's just still a few things that need to get right, just a, a small bit more um, strength in my quad. Um you know, like when you get the injury, you can't really move your legs. So the kind of muscle just deteriorate, deteriorates away. So um, yeah. just trying to get that back at the moment, like um, I'm back kind of doing a small bit of like like uh, running mechanics and things like that, but um, not out fully running yet. And I won't be back training until probably towards the end of the year. And then it might just be too late to play then, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Um, and are you still like in contact with the squad or meeting up with them? Or? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm in there every day, you know, I'd be in the gym with them. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'd be in the meetings with them. So I, I'd see them all every day. So it's uh, a. That's that brilliant that you're change. not disconnected yeah. from them at all. Exactly. No, I'm not stuck, I'm stuck in a box by myself, training away. But yeah. No, so you're uh, in the bubble. Exactly. So nothing's changed by the fact that I'm not uh, training on the pitch or playing, of course, which is the, the best or the. Oh well, players. that's 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 something anyway. And yeah. uh, you played you played alongside, didn't you, Jordan Larmer at under twelves? Yeah, me and Jordan <laughs> played Wanderers. Um, I know, God, those like I know so many lads. Actually, Ocean Dowling as well. He plays in Connacht now. Um, and yeah, weren't you with James Ryan there. and Andrew Porter as well? Did you play with them? No, I think no, no. I played against James. He was in Lansdowne. I remember. Oh, he's Lansdowne, of course. Yeah, and then. I think Porter was Wesley. Um, I think so, because I know his dad was Wesley anyway. Uh, but no, me and Jordan sent a partnership. Under 12, that's so Under funny. 12. And now you're oh, like... About four, four or five years, yeah. Yeah, and you're back together again. <laughs> I know, hilarious. I think there's a there's a picture somewhere, I think, of it. Um, we played at halftime in the RDS. And I think, I don't, I don't, I doubt many of the lads are playing now, but I think Keen Healy was playing. And we're like holding the flags uh, just by the line pit as they come out of the change room. Uh, like oh, that's we were, God, just I when know, you were tiny. I know when we were tiny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I remember my dad it, showed it to me, but now I haven't seen it in uh, about a year. So, uh right, because there was another another one with that. He was Luke Fitzgerald and Ian Madigan as well. The same one. They were only like tots. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, they yeah. ended up playing together. Yeah. But your dad was a flanker, wasn't he? With yeah, he was flanker with Wanders. And your granddad and your uncle were hookers. Hawkers for yeah, they played for Connacht, yeah, yeah. For Connacht, so could you ever have transitioned to the dark side, being a back? <laughs> <laughs> I fully enough played played a bit of back, but I think my dad was always uh, the way the way he was. I was brought up anyway was more like a forward than a back, I'd say. Right, but it was in the blood, you know. You were definitely going to be exactly. Uh, rugby yeah, player, was, weren't yeah, you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I remember my dad brought me down. Head. My dad actually brought me down to Honours the first time and. I wasn't too keen, but then he he just kept pushing into me, and I'm I sure I love him now, like and I loved it then as well. So he was he was right to give it the push. Sometimes you yeah, just need yeah, having yeah. your kids. The the guys around my estate were playing all playing football, so I was trying to play football with them. My dad was just like, no, 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 Keep no, we're not having not having that shape of ball in the house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, didn't he captain the uh, Maris to their first senior cup? He did, yeah, yeah, for, yeah. He captained the Maris to the first year of senior cup. He. Uh, and the second time they won us, who were they captured by? Robbie Henshaw. Robbie Henshaw, I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the such a coincidence. Robbie Henshaw, they're the two, two kings of Mars. But, the um, two, yeah, it was in the cast, like just the way it, there was such a gap between the two wins. I know. And then it was I like your dad that. and it was Robbie. Yeah, yeah. It's it's actually mad when you when you think about it. I remember he um when Maris when Robbie won it, um I didn't obviously know of Robbie back then because like it was so long ago, but I remember he went out to um out to Mars to like to go to, I think he might have presented the the trophy or something anyway he went out to Mars College and when they won it the last time and I, was, I thought it was funny enough but I obviously didn't know who Robbie was back then but um, 
Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a coincidence, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. And then you were like in 2016, didn't you get the under 20s uh, World Player of the Year? Yeah, yeah. So we did. What was that like? That's amazing achievement. That was for that, very that cool. Age. Yeah. So um, we had a class team. Geez, like we like back then we wouldn't have known it, but like the amount of players that have come through, like you could honestly the whole team almost are professionals now and like international rugby players, like like Porter, Hugo Keenan, Jacob Stockdale, Jor, myself. I'm sure I'm missing a few more as well. Like um, like we had an unbelievable team. We ended up getting to the final and losing to England because um. You know, like England are top quality at that level. That's they're right, not, yeah. You know, they're huge brutes, like. Yes. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I remember my mom was just like campaigning, like uh, if I was going for president or something to win the player <laughs> of the year. Yeah, a very a very proud moment for of them, course, though. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You know, we're together with such a well. I know we have to be under twenty, but like being so young and getting yeah. such a high award. Yeah. Like, yeah, I remember. Sure, it was the presentation was after the final, and we'd obviously lost, so I was disappointed, but. Getting that kind of was a, you know, a nice little, nice little thing. Like, you know, and obviously I, I wouldn't have done it like as cliche as it sounds, like without the lads and we had such a good team, you know, so. Yes. Know, yeah. Was, you know, it's just, a, it's, it's so weird. Now you've got your, uh, did you get your first cap just before lockdown? Just before and, lockdown, yeah. And not your Irish cap, yeah. Mad, isn't it? Last game, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've you've still now to, you've a load more to add to that, no exactly, doubt. When yeah, you're, plan, when you're yeah. back to normal. That's the plan, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, what what previous players that uh, for Leinster say would you say were your you would look up to? Yeah, like in fairness, like the, the obvious one is like uh, Jamie and Jamie, of course. Yeah, of course, like yeah. it could not be sure he was number eight for so, for so long. Like um, the number eight, yes. Yeah, I all um, yeah. There's uh, fairness, like. There was like a few players I like, like Kieran Reid, probably the big a big one for me. Like you know, he's um, unbelievably skillful. He's a smart player. He's obviously captain New Zealand multiple times, and yeah, he's, uh, you know, like you've got these massive number eights like Billy Vinopola and things like that. He just kind of all brute force, but um, now Kieran Reid was probably the the number one um kind of rugby player I, I looked at when I was younger and I thought, geez, like, that's the kind of way I, I want to play and things like that. He was your inspiration. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> yeah, de- oh, God, yeah, definitely. He's, a, he's something else, all right. And mm. on the Irish side, then, obviously, when you were sort of following in Jamie's boots, then. I know, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. So um, you've t- you were, do you think um, next year you'll be back for Six Nations? Yeah, well, that's the plan anyway. You know, like, like, um, you know, from a from a working point of view over the last few months, like I've really been working on my size and, you know, things like that. And like, you know, like the mental part of the game and learning about yeah. the game and things like that, which is, it's all gone really well. Like I put on a good bit of size, probably four or five kilos, um, which is great. So I'm hoping to come back. I have to... as well, but not in the right way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. But which hopefully that ends. It wasn't, for, it wasn't for these scans that we get, these body scans that we get, I probably would have gone the wrong way but um oh so, no, they, yeah, they, so they show you what's muscle and what's fat exactly what, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so you know you're doing it in the right There's way no That's hiding there, like you're just lying on this bed or this machine goes over you it's right yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and then yeah. like living in a bubble have you finding that hard it's tough yeah like um you know the it was almost a novelty at the start like it felt strange enough and it wasn't too bad and then you know we came out of lockdown there around the start of the year and then back into it, it that's probably been the toughest like you know like I'm sure everyone would have thought there's no way we could still be in lockdown now I like know. a year later and like yeah um you know that's when it gets, gets kind of tough and you know like just going in rehabbing you know doing a bit of college work and things like that not really playing it it's tough as well you know so just the same as everyone else you know I'm in mean, like you know, I'm you're totally probably, out you know, of the zone of what you'd normally be doing. Exactly, yeah. But like in fairness, like I'm in a like I get to go out and see the guys on a daily basis, like you know, that's brilliant though, even you know, for so, yourself yeah. that you're so involved still. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So, you know uh, that it's not a case of you're injured, we'll see you when you're better. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. That's I know. great. But from that point of view, it's it's been great. And like, you know, unfortunately there's other injuries as well. So we've had a like a, a rest right. injury crew. So there's been a, a few of us which is Obviously, it's tough and I don't want anyone to get injured, but it makes it a bit easier, you know, having a few people to work with and they're kind of on the same times as you. Because some days you might be in and the lads are on days off and 
It'll just be the yes. you know, five or six year or, or however many um, it is. And we caught up with Scott Penny there recently and he's on the injured list as well. With the I sound. know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so we so so often happens. I'm sure there's always a loads, a loads uh, people out together. <laughs> exactly, it's the game, isn't it? Like, uh, and what would you normally? Do? Well, apart from lockdown, what would you normally do in your downtime? Would you like? Do you play any like golf or do you? Yeah, I, oh, I actually, funny enough, picked up. So after the the very first lockdown, I um golf was one of the first things that kind of opened up. So I I decided, look, it's the only way I'm going to get out. Like you know, so <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that's I true. end up joining um. Lotus Town, um, with a good few of the we've got a few of the other uh, Leinster guys, so we used to play. Oh, that's like, great. A good bit, so that was actually great. Um, obviously you can't play, can't play now because they're not clo- they're closed anyway, but they're opening up now at the end of the month. So yeah, that's right. That was yeah. a nice thing to do because it gets pretty boring, like you know. And can you do that like with that. with your injury? Will you be able to golf? I, I will, yeah, but by then I will. So I wouldn't have been. That's I would still nice. wouldn't be able to do it now. But funny enough, the time will work where once they open now, that should be okay to play. Um, and it's everybody has said golf that once, your end. sorry no everybody has that plays rugby seems to play golf as well i know you yeah, actually yeah. get space to chat to whoever you're with because you're normally cut off in training yeah exactly you know yeah, so yeah. uh you know, i spoke to one of the players before and he was saying it's the only time he gets to speak to his dad but they go out like for four and a half hours on the golf yeah, course yeah, yeah other yeah, than yeah. that you're just busy all the time yeah, you know no, it's so, great in fairness you're not on your phone you're not doing anything like that you're just you know, chatting with the lads. Scott Friday's yeah. massive golf head, like he's oh, is he? yeah. he's obsessed. Yeah, 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 yeah. What does he play off, or what do you play off? I'm oh god, oh, geez, yeah. Well, I actually got my handicap before before I got injured. I think it's 18, maybe. Oh. Nothing fancy. I think Scott's around 10, maybe. I didn't know he was big a big um golf head as well. I'm not sure, yeah. No, he is. He's he's obsessed now, like. <laughs> I don't get it at all. I did, but I did play before, and I just found it so boring. I know that's yeah. very, well, that's very. Well. I know it's just when you're playing such a fast sport all the time, like yourselves, it's it's a nice relaxing, it's nice and chill. Yeah, yeah, and it's nice. Roll like, around. You know, I feel like because I was so bad at it when I started, it's nice to like you know you see the like you're getting better at it quite quickly, which is always nice, you know. Um, yeah, so you I can see your hand I mean, coming down. I get, like if I ever do get quite good, I, I might find it boring because. Or like annoying because I'm trying to expect every shot to be good right now. I'm expecting every shot to be crap. So <laughs> yeah, so I need the one that's good as a bonus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know. I'm the other way around. If I start off badly, I just I just lose interest and I just yeah, want to yeah. go home. <laughs> Give me my ball back or going home. Yeah. <laughs> and do you have you know among the squad like in the changing room or in the training? Is there any like crack? Like who's the biggest joker or? Biggest joker, there's a few jokers there, like a few. Like, <laughs> I'd say so. so. Like, I don't know, you've got a weird, Will Connors who's more just, he's a bit of just a weirdo. Like, I wouldn't call him a joker. <laughs> like, he's, just, he's a weirdo. He makes people laugh by just being a weird person. Right. Um, and then you've got the likes of kind of Reese and, and Tracy, and they're all funny. Like, they're gas lads. Like, um, yeah, no, but yeah. A good like banter with make, them. Make people laugh the most, but he's probably the weirdest um, <laughs> person as well. We'll right? tell him we pass that on. Yeah, you're Dude, weird. definitely. I'm sure he'd love to hear that. Yeah. And what about the, like, any singers? God, singers. No, I don't think anyone has a good voice. No, there. nobody has a good voice now. Guitar players now. There's a, there's a. Oh, yeah. During lockdown, a good few lads picked up guitar. So I think Reese, Reese and Adam, Adam Byrne, probably the best now at guitar. They're they're actually good. And then you've got newcomers like Ross Maloney, Roy O'Loughlin, who think they're good now because they've been playing for a few months, but they're still crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the general banter is just um, weirdos and guitar players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's um, at least that keeps everybody entertained. Who do you think would? What would you think, or who would you think would from Leinster squad might make the Lions team? It's a good if question. If you were, if you were to pick, thank you. <laughs> um, I think the whole front row. So, so I think Keen Healy yeah. is a good chance. I think Roan has a good chance, and I think Ty's a uh, uh, certain. Like he's he's definitely getting in. Then you look at the second rows and it's James's, you know, a certainty to get in. Um, you know, you could have a bol- a bolter like Bardo. Um mm. and then the same with the back row. The back row's a bit tougher, you know, because there's a lot of like good talent in the other countries, like 
you've got Fal, Tevin, Apollo, Curry, Underhill. You've got so many, but like, you know, like the, all all four of them, like we've got such back row talent and depth, like Jack, you know, Kalen, unfortunately with his, his head knock probably hasn't got to yeah, that's through right. himself. But, uh, you know, he could easily still get in. Hopefully he gets back there soon enough to get back playing and showing his talent. Then you've got yes. Josh and Will as well, who, um, you know, like there's still there's a lot to be decided there, on. Yeah, exactly. Because there's so yeah. much competition in the back row. It'll come down to these kind of European games and who really turns up in them, I guess. That, to be honest, that's what I think. Um, and then Johnny, you know, like he's he's in there as well. Robbie, definitely in there as well. Gary, I, I definitely put Gary in. I know he's been injured over the Six Nations, but I don't see how you could leave him out. Um, yeah. The whole team, like really. It's, it's, I know, really. It's yeah, a tough one in fairness, but... Um, um, you know, Lowy as well, like he brings that bit of size and physicality and, you know, something different. Um, and then Hugo and being so consistent, like week week on week internationally, like, yeah, like I don't know how you leave him out either. Like he hasn't put a foot wrong since he started playing for Ireland. Like, and it's yeah. really like when you compare that you're taking them from different countries, there's huge competition there's for each position, isn't there? Like, like, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know how you pick it in the end, but like... A lot of it, a lot of it, like, because there's so much competition comes down to, like, you know, uh, performing in the day and, like, performance over the Six Nations, probably the biggest one. And then, you know, when he's coming down to the finer, tighter ones, it'll be who's performing, who's in form, like, coming up to the... Yeah. Uh, to be over these European games and into the Rainbow Cup or things like that, yeah. Yeah, so, of course, that's a whole big addition now this year as well, isn't it? Yeah, the Rainbow yeah, Cup. Yeah. That would, like, it'd be different playing the South African teams as well after so long, you know. Oh, just know, different, yeah, different yeah. style. I can't, I can't wait to, for them to come into the to the league. I think they'll they'll really bring something extra. Like you know, like they're like I don't know what to be like because you know the, the cheetahs and the lions or the cheetahs and the kings. Kings, were good, yeah. but um, these these four teams coming in are really the the top the top of South Africa. Well, that's like, it, you know, and it'd be great to have that experience of playing, especially Southern Hemisphere teams before the World Cup as well. Yeah, that's a, that's a, yeah. You know, it's a total different style, isn't it, altogether? Yeah, yeah, like they're they're huge. Like you know, any of the South Africans that come over to Ireland or England, you know, like they're all massive. Like some they're of the massive. best players in each of the teams are just these massive South African ball carriers. Yeah. Yes, and we're used to like with the Six Nations playing those teams and that style. And exactly. I'd say it yeah. becomes yeah. a, a, sh- a shell 100%. shock. Then when you yeah, play yeah. This, when you play the, play the yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. But I can't what do you wait, reckon but... for tomorrow night now against with Dexter? Yeah, like it's going to be really tough. Like I, I hundred percent think we can win. Like you know, like yes, the the quality we have in the team, the way we're training, the way we're playing. Like you know, like we'll obviously need a really big performance, but like it's a hundred percent in us. You know, um, yes, I think the lads did that against England for for an example. You know, a lot of the same lads were playing, and they turned up against England and had a cracking game. Um, you know, Exeter, they're the, they're the defending champions, they're champions of the mm. Premiership as well. Like, so they're, you know, they've kind of earned that bit of pedigree in Europe, uh, which they didn't have before last year. And um, so should be a cracking game. Like, all, I think all the games this weekend are going to be excellent. But I think, um, yeah, I think once we once we turn up and play our game, shut them down, I don't yes. think they have. They have the first like, time in a while now, I felt a bit, a bit nervous about a game, you know. <laughs> oh, no, I know. I sure, of course, you know, like, um, how would you be nervous, you know, playing the the former champions, you know? And That's it's it. A weird one, yeah. like it's a weird one, and then you know, it's probably like slightly unfair. Like we, you know, we win both our games with bonus points, but then we're playing the away quarter final, you know, you know where they, I think they'd one of their games cancelled, they won one or something. So it's like, yes, like yeah. maybe at home, but um, yeah, does like, the home advantage? I wondered, like with. There being no spectators, yeah, it's I know you're a, still playing in an away ground, but is it as much of an advantage now? No, it's definitely not as much of an advantage. You know, like I'd say, the only really advantage would be, um, you know, you're not traveling, you're not traveling. Um, yeah, the lads traveled early this morning. They're going to do their um, their captain's run over in the story stadium today, and then um, yeah, you know, so I, the with no fans, it really does make a difference. Like the fans in the stadium make it like, oh, especially in these big games, it's it's. It's night and day, really, like, you know. Um, and it's hard for me to say because I haven't really played many and many. many yeah, but just fans, you've been but watching it. I have, you know, like, especially in a away game. Like, if you generate your own energy, you know, you bring enough, 
you know, enthusiasm and energy to the game. Like you can out enthuse them and they don't have the fans to, to back to back up on. Yes. Yeah. That's a it is definitely the extra player, isn't it? The fans. Exactly. 100%. But I suppose like if you are in the RDS, it just feels like home. I know, exactly. Rather you know, than, you, you but even watching it on TV, it's weird. It's like being in the Phoenix Park or something, just watching a random match. Oh, no, God, like it's it's even weirder playing because they've got the fake crowd noises in, on TV where in the stadium it's Oh, silent. the stadium, you have nothing at all. Silent, like it's completely silent. So it's it's loud, obviously, while you're playing, but it's it's when you, you go to scrum and before you set, you're just... There's a minute or two where you're not doing yeah. it. You're literally looking around like, what is going on? Or if you on? score a try, there's like a few little claps. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have a favourite game you, you played in? Oh, I, I have a load of games. Like, um, a load. And I remember one the one game, um, we were losing to Connacht um, quite badly, I remember. Um, I, I don't know if this is my favourite game, but it's, a, it's a, one of my favourite, like, The standout games. one. Yeah, yeah, and I was actually on the bench anyway. It was around Christmas, and I came on, maybe with twenty minutes left, and we were down by two and two tries, maybe a bit more, and we ended up coming back and winning. I remember, like, I've never like the energy in the stadium was unbelievable. Like, like it was so loud. Like we scored the first try, scored the second try, and then we we'd score one more try. I think, and like after the second try, it was crazy. Like the energy, and then we ended up scoring the last play to win it. Like, um. Because I remember I was on the bench, obviously, for the first half, and I was thinking, oh, my God, we're getting blown away here. Like, And then yes, we yeah. creeping back into it. And then we just, this massive momentum shift where we were all over them, and they, they couldn't stop us. Like, and the crowd was unbelievable. Like, um, I remember, yeah, we were running back to for the restart. After one of the tries, thinking, holy, like, this is insane. Like, this is so Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That God, it, must be, it must be great just, yeah, yeah, going on that adrenaline from the crowd yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's also it must be hard as well for the young players and new players coming in, but they don't have their families there, or you know they're making their debuts. And I know, be... God, I yeah, I'd say it's weird. Like I like I don't know, like, I couldn't be in put myself in their in their boots, but like it must be pretty pretty annoying anyway. That's for sure. Like, yes, yes, and then like even like winning trophies and just. Yes. in the middle of the ground I could no no I know, there. I know. That's, yeah. that's crazy so we've won two pro 14s with no crowds like it's yeah that's it that's it yeah something else like you know really like, know. weird yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. you're just now for the weekend you'll just take it easy and watch the match on the TV just take it easy and, yeah watch the games maybe get a pizza or something treatment. is it strange for you as well watching matches on TV and not yeah. being in the stadium yeah absolutely that, that must be yeah. terribly hard oh so, yeah when the lads are lifting the trophy and we're we're like um that's mad. Like that's really weird. Yeah, yeah. You want you just want to be there and be part yeah, of that. Yeah, and, absolutely. But you'll have a lot to celebrate anyway when things come back to normal. Exactly. Yeah, I know. Hopefully, exactly. and back to golf now at the end of the month. <laughs> <laughs> the twi- is it the twenty seventh? They're opening or? I think, yeah, that? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. You'll, you'll get good use out of your membership and get the yeah. handicap down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this Max, it was lovely of you to join us and uh, great to talk to you and very. Best of luck with the rest of your recovery. Yeah, and we'll catch you up enough. soon Had with the end of line out, no doubt. Exactly, exactly. Get <laughs> <Yeah>. me in there. <laughs> okay. Great. Thanks, Thanks a million. Max. All right. Okay, See you. That was great. Cheers. Bye.